Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Andy from Wholesale-Help.com. Happy Thursday. Alrighty then, Wholesale fans. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of different things. First up, I want to talk to you about eBay's click and collect service. Then I'm going to talk about drop shipping for a little bit. And lastly, I want to touch on the subject of dodgy eBay charges. So firstly, many of you will be aware that eBay have launched their click and collect service, which was rolled out some time ago as a trial, but has been going mainstream for the last couple of months. And from my experience, it's worked very well indeed, both as a buyer and a seller. Essentially, what the click and collect service does is it allows you to have your eBay items sent to a local Argos store of your choice. So if you work in a town with an Argos down the road, you may want to get it delivered there so you could pop in on your lunch break or after work and grab your item. Maybe a lot more convenient than having to go to your local Royal Mail delivery office. Also, a lot of Argos stores are open in the evenings, which means there's a better chance of being able to pick up your item after work. Obviously, as a seller, this is just 100% cool. There is just no reason not to add this onto your listings. It's going to add value to the customer experience. There's no extra work for you. And anything that adds value, in my opinion, is got to be a good thing. So from a seller's point of view, once somebody buys your item and opts to have their item sent, click and collect, you go to print off your eBay delivery address as usual, but instead of the customer's address, you will see the address of their local Argos store. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a printer software or just handwriting it on. It will all work as long as you copy the address down correctly, including the unique delivery number on the second line of the address. That's the important thing that will identify the item and the owner. This is one of eBay's successes for this year, I believe. It's a good idea all round. I haven't seen any downsides at all, and I haven't seen anyone moaning about it either. So well done eBay for innovating and finding something that's going to be useful for both buyer and seller. Now, moving on from the click and collect service, I want to briefly talk about my free drop shipping ebook that is still available. If you're new to the YouTube channel or you didn't catch it when I put out my video, I actually have a free guide to drop shipping that you can download and get your hands on totally free by clicking on the link in the description box below. It will take you to a page that looks a little bit like this. Hit the download now button, enter your email and you will get sent the guide for free and for nothing. It shows you step by step how you can get into drop shipping, the process of finding an item and a niche that is profitable. And also at the end of the guide, I will show you where you can find the drop shipping suppliers to fulfill these orders. So the link is in the description box below if you want to go and check that out. It's totally free and for nothing. So if you didn't catch it when I mentioned it a month or so ago, there it is. Go knock yourself out. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Moving on, lastly, I want to talk about cheap eBay charges. Now, someone in the Wholesale Help Private Facebook group brought this to my attention today, and it's just been on my mind, and I think it's a good thing to cover and to reiterate. If you are a seller of electronics or you've been wanting to get into electronics accessories and things like that, I want you to be very careful with selling or buying charges on eBay, okay, both as a seller and a buyer because there are an awful lot, and I mean a lot, of sellers on eBay selling phone chargers, laptop chargers, camera chargers that are being imported from China very, very cheaply. And let me tell you, the safety standards in China are non-existent, okay? You may not even realize this, but to sell items like this in the UK, they have to meet European and UK safety standards, and they're tested. And the US too, it will be a slightly different process, but the US will have their own version of this also. It ensures that we don't get harmed. But in China, there are plenty of people that are knocking out very cheap, very poorly made and quite frankly, lethal charges. And people in the in the UK and the US are buying these in cheap, thinking that they can make some money. Well, unfortunately, people are buying these and they are burning down their houses. People are getting electrocuted and I'm afraid people have died because of this. So as a buyer, Please don't try and save yourself a few pounds by going for the cheaper one on eBay. People are selling fakes and even if it says Sony on the side doesn't necessarily mean it's a Sony charger. So in this scenario, I just wouldn't take any risk. I wouldn't buy one on eBay because there's no way of telling if it's fake or it's real. I would simply go to your local electronics store and buy one there. Yes, you'll pay more money, but how much is your safety and the safety of your family worth? 
I urge you don't take a risk on these things. They are just unsafe. And if there's a chance you've bought a cheap charger, a phone charger or a laptop charger from eBay, please don't use it. There is no way of telling how safe they are. When when they're plugged into the mains power supply, they can be lethal. And if you're thinking about selling them or you are selling them, I would seriously urge you to consider not to sell them. If one of your buyers has an accident or even worse, there's a fatality because of something you've sold, who do you think is responsible? And you really don't want to have that on your hands. There are plenty of other electronic accessories that you can sell. I would just steer away from any charges to be on the safe side. All right, that's it. Just came into my mind today through a post, and I think it's well worth mentioning. I think a lot of people don't even give it that much consideration. It's fair enough. I want you guys to be aware, and I want you guys to stay safe. So thanks very much for watching this little update. I'll be back with another video very shortly, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence, and I will catch you on the very next video.